What's up guys, John here, and welcome back to another Destiny video. And, as you guys know, it is Friday, and I'm pretty sure you all know what that means. That means Azur, Agent of the Nine, is back. So we're going to go ahead and find him, and we're going to go see what he has to sell. Uh, so as you can see, again, here in the tower, from spawn, you know, as usual, we're going to want to go off to the left over here. As I figured, you know how we uh, spawns are set up. I figured he would pretty much cycle through the three original spawns he had, but just be in a different little area every single time. So I didn't find him. I was on with a friend just a little earlier, and uh, we ended up seeing what he had. So as always, I already had my little sneak peek to what's their head, and here he is, pretty much past the speaker entrance, right here in the corner near this ledge. Sub Zer, creepy tentacle looking. All right, let's <laughs> let's keep uh, going with the video. So he has for sale the helmet of the inmost light, the Titan, Lucky Raspberry for the Hunter, Void Fang vestments for the Warlock, and he is now selling the freaking Icebreaker sniper rifle. An exotic engram. The helm of Inmost Light, I already have it. I think uh, I think I had like two or something like that. Produces melee cooldown. Uh, increased melee attack speed. Uh, defense. Produces melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of light. Provides death from above and headstrong for Fist of Havoc. Defense, defense, defense. Also, he got the Lucky Raspberry. I bought one of these too. Kind of regret it, but it has fusion rifle ammunition. Extra. Yeah, that. Defense upgrade. Increase uh, heavy ammo. Uh, arc bolt grenade chains further. Spawn with a grenade. That's only a. Uh, that's actually pretty good. For arc bolt grenade. You spawn every time. For PvP, that'd be great. And this has all defense upgrades as well. We're going to go ahead and check out the Void Fang Vestments because this is, I believe is the first time I'm seeing this that he is selling. Can increase the uh, hand cannon ammo. Also, that's a defense. You can also increase special ammo you can carry. This one, your Axion Bolt Grenade spawns and additional seek. What? Yeah, your Axion Bolt Grenade spawns an additional seeker. Now, that's pretty cool. So there's going to be more damage to the grenade. Plus, you respawn with full grenade energy now if you have wait can they have the double grenade i think that's just on the sun singer that's actually pretty cool and defense 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 and now the icebreaker this upsets me a lot that they actually put this in because pretty much everybody's going to be able to buy it not only because it's a sniper rifle and people are going to camp but they reduce the price that you need to buy a weapon that he sells from 23 to 17. Now you're going to end up seeing this a lot everywhere in PvP and people just camping and whatnot. One main reason why is because this regenerates ammunition over time. That's its special ability of this icebreaker. You cannot pick any kind of ammo up. Uh, it only has a 6 uh, magazine clip. And it's going to regenerate pretty much in like three seconds. It'll regenerate one bullet. And what it has is the field choke, uh, which is more impact, less or increased recoil. A linear compensator. None of these really make a difference in the stats, too. Because I already looked it up and I already bought it. Uh, what is it? Mulligan. This single shot has a chance to return the ammo directly into the magazine. And uh, there's no, no ammo in the reserve. So pretty much you'll just have another shot to shoot. Uh, damage upgrade, quick draw. This weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. Send it, more range and accuracy. Snapshot. And this is uh, this is pretty cool about the Icebreaker. This one ability. Icebreaker's victims spontaneously combust, dealing damage to others nearby. That's really, really cool and helpful when you're doing PvE. When there's a lot of mobs in the area and just shoot one and explode. Uh, you're going to cause a lot of splash damage with that. And then damage, 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 and damage again. 
like I said, they reduced the, the amount that you need to buy the exotic weapon from Xur, which kind of sucks. Ah, oh, man. Now it's pretty much less work you need to do to, in order to get an icebreaker. And also an exotic helmet, you know, the usual stuff he has down here. Plasma drive, emerald coil, and all that. And uh, earlier, like I said, I got on with a friend and already bought it. Put a little bit of experience into it. It is Goodbye. something that's just unfair. Because you're going to be regenerating ammo. Anybody you're going to see in PvP is just, just going to be camping in freaking first light. And their ammo is just going to regen, so they're just going to be sitting back there like a bunch of noobs. And, yeah, it just upsets me that he's actually selling this. It should have been just like, you know, kind of an exclusive weapon that you find as a reward from whatever, like the raid or crucible or something like that. But it shouldn't have been something you could sell. But anyway, there you have it, guys. Azuri is over here uh, by the speaker on the balcony. Hopefully, you guys pick up an icebreaker i guess you know everybody's gonna have one now since it's cheaper than usual so hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching see you in the next one